Someone could be secretly taking pictures of you. What's more, they might be posting those pictures on social media. Investigators in the Twin Cities are seeing more cases of people taking pictures of other people without their knowledge in public places, like when you're shopping. But some stores in the FM area say not so fast. They look out for that and try to stop it in its tracks. Valley News Team's Melanie Palmer has more on what's being called creep shots and what you need to look out for. We're all guilty of taking selfies sometimes when we're shopping. But what if when you're looking for some hot deals, someone was sneaking a picture of you? Does it creep you out to think people could be taking pictures of you? Oh yeah, because I'm skeptical of her. Jessica Squirrel Coat has a two and a half year old daughter and she admits she likes taking pictures of her daughter, especially when she tries on something cute at a store. But when we ask Jessica about other people secretly taking pictures of her and her daughter. The high rates of missing and murdered indigenous women and then sex trafficking being really high. So I do want to keep her close and then not only that, but watch out for our surroundings. It downright creeps her out. Selfies in the store, no problem. Christine Ilvidson is a store owner of Lowe's Mentor in Fargo. She tells us they have no policy when it comes to customers taking a selfie in the store. But she says it goes without saying that they don't want people taking pictures of others. I mean, obviously, you can't take pictures of other people. And Close Mentor isn't alone. The West Acres Mall has a policy that they hope customers always follow. We would frown upon anyone taking pictures of, of another person without their knowledge or their permission. If we got a report of that, we would definitely investigate that uh, with our security team. West Acres property manager Chris Heaton says, as far as he knows, they haven't had this problem. And a spokesperson with the Fargo Police Department tells us they are aware this is happening in other cities, but say they haven't had any reports of it in Fargo. But they do say that could be because you can't always tell if someone's taking a picture of you. And law enforcement officials in other cities say if you see something suspicious, report it. And that person taking that picture could be facing charges. In Fargo, Melanie Palmer, Valley News Live. We've been told the groups most targeted by these creep shots are women and children.